All right. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. I haven't put up any uh, videos lately. I've been kind of occupied with snowmobiling a little bit. I need to get some better camera setups. All I ever use is my phone for these videos. But anyhow, uh, I need to like to get some of those uh, snowmobile videos. I think that'd be fun. I enjoy, I enjoy snowmobiling more than even shooting guns. And it's such a short season, but had a good time. Anyhow, uh, this is my Remington 783 uh, 308 rifle that I've been uh, building. I put a Rux barrel on it and uh, did a little bolt work here. I'll get this out of here and show everybody in YouTube land that, hey, it ain't loaded. Look at that. Wow. You know, I don't want to shoot a hole through my wall. All right. So nothing's loaded in there, whatever. I got a little package in the mail the other day. I put, oh, I don't know what's the best way to do this. We'll see. <laughs> this video may be all messed up. Hang on, we're going to put a Timney trigger in it. So, i got to find some parts and pieces to do this. I guess I'm going to have to do a little editing, because I'm not really prepared. I just knew I wanted to make a video. So, we'll dig through some parts. All right, let's see if this all works out all right. Pull the stack off here quick. I do like this MDT stack. It was a whole lot cheaper than buying a... Uh, Fancy wooden stack. Well, I don't know if this is as good as a wooden stack, but it's definitely easier to put together. Set that down. All right. Let's get this little trigger off here. Find some enlarges. Am I even on the video there? Okay. All right. Get the nine. Maybe, yeah, 964s. The stack trigger for this cheap rifle is pretty good for the money, I have to say. Okay. Ooh, yeah, that ain't good. All right, here we go. Maybe, here we go. Okay. Well, we're going to learn this together. There's not many directions. A little bit on the back of the box, I guess. So. Yeah, I did find the instructions after I uh, dug around in that box. Right here. Nice set of instructions for it. Okay, I see what they got. You see in this? Okay, good. All right. So I gotta pull that clip off. This is bolt release. Gonna have that spring. Get sear engagement, creep, and over travel. And then you got the pull weight. Okay. I don't know. It's a pretty basic trigger. All right, let's see. This bad boy goes in here. I think this went lower. Yeah. Over the top. Okay. Just gotta pull this little C clip. Or like I like to call them Jesus clips. Because they go flying. You go, Jesus! Help me find that. <laughs> Alright. 
probably should be wearing safety glasses. You know what I am going to wear? Hat. Cheaters, because I can't really see. Sucks getting old. Let's see, is this on here? Aha! Well, I got lucky there. Oh, nice. It's gonna go flying out there at me. Hope this is coming out all right for you guys. Gotta get that little leg to go through there. There. Nice. There's that little clip. Ooh. And where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> nice, huh? All right, well, that looks okay. All right, let's put this back in here. Make sure it's all cleaned off. And then take a brush. And maybe a paper towel. Probably could put Loctite on it, but I never have. Haven't had too much bad. Nothing bad come apart on me. Put it good and tight, right? Snap them off, but you want them tight. All right, cool. Let's see. Get rid of the old trigger there. And let's move some stuff out of here. Grab my puller and my bolt. Okay, that works. All right, let's give it a pull. Oh, not bad. 
know where they set it at right from the factory. Let's take a little check here. Am I even getting a sign here? Oh, maybe not. All right, let's see what we're getting. I'm gonna take these glasses off. I can't see. Yeah, <laughs> about three. Okay. So we're gonna have to do a little adjusting to that. We definitely want it lighter than that. Five sixty fours. Now, and would put sp spring pressure on it. Huh? Well, it's the same thing. So if I go out, I'm gonna go. I don't know. I'm gonna go half a turn. We'll see what that gives me. Gives me. Yeah, that was the first stock was three. Uh, two and a quarter. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. Let's go maybe another half turn. Ooh, that ain't right. Something ain't right. Too far, maybe? Won't even lock up. Okay, my bad. So, let's go back in a half a turn. I don't know what I did there. Oh, I might have had. No, I was forward. All right, there we go. Yeah, let's go. Quarter. Half a turn out. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Slowly up to okay, let's go. Quarter more. Let's see what happens. Okay, must have been what I did. I didn't do it in right sequence. This thing is kind of touchy. I guess you barely get to move it. And something else is wrong. See, you seeing that? About two is all I get. So I think there may be something wrong with this trigger. Oh, wait a minute. There. One and a half. Oh, yeah. Mucho better. That must have been what I was doing. I was going a little too far out. Okay. I like that. Now I'm going to leave this factory over travel that they have on it. Because I don't want to have. 
of an accident. I'll leave that alone. This ain't moving back that far. Pretty short, I would say. Okay. Getting down there to one and a half pull looks good to me. I might even turn it in just a little bit. Nice. I don't want to smidge anymore. Yeah. So I'm just a smidgen over. I think I'd rather be a smidgen over than the bottom than what they say. Because if that screw comes out, you're screwed. Hmm. Pretty tight though. I will say that. Good enough. All right, one and a half pounds. That's what they say it'll go to. We'll put it together. Well, I have to put a little edit in this video. I put the stock on. This is the MDT stock. And uh, that uh, trigger, the safety does not work on it. So, yeah, I don't know what to do. I guess I'll call them up and see what they say, but I have a feeling what I might do is either grind that or grind my stack. I don't want to really grind the stack. I don't really want to grind the trigger. Okay, I took my little Dremel, little deep, you know, little uh, carbide burr, put my stack in the vise. And I ground, so I had clearance there. And then I took a, there we go, a paint marker, black, of course, everything's black. And I touched up the aluminum. And uh, hey, almost looks professional for an amateur that I am. All right, so. I think everything's working now. Oh, yep, locked. Good. Yep. Good. Locked. Not going anywhere. Unlock. Beautiful. I'm happy. Hopefully, I can get out to the range today. We'll take it to the range. See kind of groups I can get. All right. Have a great day. Be safe out there. God bless.